Look, look at our special surprise. Isn't that amazing? I literally just saw them two seconds before Lou sent you across to us. Hi, babies. That is so cool. Good morning, my name is Jamie, and this morning Brian is on camera with me. Brian, how nice is it to see new babies? Oh, fantastic. Oh, this is such a special thing. Hello. Hello, you clever girl. I'm just keeping a little bit of distance for now. I don't want them to go racing back into the den. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, sorry. I'll try and refocus myself in a moment, but my goodness gracious. It has been so long since I saw a little hyena of this age, when they're still black and don't have spots. Oh, I'm so chuffed. Hi, guys. Yes, is that your mummy's ear? Oh, this is so exciting for our new viewers. I cannot wait for you to spend a bit more time with these hyena cubs. It is such a joy, and as they get older, they get braver and braver, and then they come up to ex say hello to us, and then we have to have eyes in the back of our heads, and so do the, do the camera operator, because otherwise they chew your tires. Yes, I'm looking at you, Mischief. <laughs> Mounting Mum, climbing up onto her back. Oh, so chuffed. Finally, finally, finally. Oh, Brian? <laughs> it paid off. All the talking about there being a hyena den and the fact that we were desperate to see them. Yay! That is so lovely. I've, uh, sorry, I completely lost my train of thought. I was just listening to Brent call it in. Hi! Look at your ears. One day you're going to have to grow into those ears. Look at those little bellies. Now, Miss Skye, you say, is this Gwen? Miss Skye, no, I don't think so. Um, I mean, no, not it's not at all. Not, I don't think so. I know it's not Gwen. This is another hyena. If you have a look at this one's ears, um, Gwen has got particularly tattered ears. She's pockmarked with scars all over her face. This is quite a pristine hyena. Is this, this, I think, I assume, is ribbon. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure. It's a little bit tricky for me to tell in the dark without any comparisons and having not seen a proper hyena, had a proper hyena sighting in over nine months, apart from Gwen. And I'm pretty sure this is, this is Ribbon. But I'm so happy. It's definitely not Corky and it's definitely not Madam. Oh. <laughs> oh, what's up? What's up? You can see she's alert. The lovely thing as well about a hyena den is that, of course, all of the rest of the clan will come and visit. It's kind of treated like a halfway house where they pop in every now and again to come and visit the mothers and you get a really lovely idea of the clan dynamics. The males come to visit, the females come to visit. You get an idea of where the cubs stand by watching their mother's behavior and by watching their behavior. <laughs> mom, poor put upon mom. All right, you do. <laughs> Veronica, you want to know how old they are before they start getting their spots. Uh, from watching these hyenas at the den site, we start to see the spots coming through at about three or so months. Uh, these hyenas, I would guess at and say they're already close to a month old. Look at that! Look at you balancing like that. Maybe about three weeks or so, but I think a little bit older. I think about close to a month. It takes them a lot longer than we realize for them to first poke their heads out of the den. And they usually do that at around about 10 days. Of course, hyena cubs born with fully erupted teeth, so they're already ready to bite and chew when they are born. And that whole birthing process is a very difficult experience for the mother, and she's quite young, I would, get, I would suggest, just by looking at her and how intact she is. Look at these two loving their mother. So the, this might even be her first litter, in which case she's done very, very well for both cubs to survive. Because due to the nature of female anatomy in spotted hyenas, they actually, oh, look how scarred and scratched up this cub is already. And that's inflicted by the, the other one. <laughs> there you go, that's how. My goodness, they look like those little sphinx cats. 
those little hairless cats. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yes, due to the anatomy of the female, the birthing process is very complicated. Our Jamas, as I said a little earlier, I reckon they're about three weeks old to about a month. So I, <laughs> I don't know whether she's moved them from another den. Perhaps they had a den site around Treehouse Dam. Look how brave they are. Uh, they're a little bit too bold and inquisitive to be much younger than that. Then they only really start to poke their heads out when they're around about seven to ten days old. And they're much, much tinier than this. So I would guess at around a month or so. Oh, you're getting so brave. Shall we risk a reposition, Brian? Mm. Shall we try it? I just don't, I want them to be closer to their mum when we switch our engine on. I don't want it to be as they're exploring because that's going to be negative reinforcement of that whole process. But as long as they see mum is relaxed and calm, then they'll be able to judge their behaviour from her. Here we go. Okay, well we've got an okay view for now. Let's let's settle for this for now. Now, Katie, this, this is the average size of a hyena litter. They don't have more than two, um, mainly due, in fact, to, well, first of all, limited by the number of nipples they have, but also due to that birthing process. So it's very common for first-time mothers, for the first or the second cub to actually get stuck and to die during the birth, and that's because, obviously, they, the spotted hyena is the, one of the few mammals with a fused urinary and vaginal tract. So they urinate and give birth and mate through exactly the same thing, which is an extended, almost phallic-like organ. In fact, very phallic-like organ. So it's a tricky process for them. Now, they don't have more than two. Sometimes, if you have two hyena cubs born of the same sex, there is a chance that one will kill the other. So, for example, with Pretty's cub, November, there's only one. I'm so happy, I'm almost speechless. Don't forget to send through your questions, hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. Oh, all those weeks and weeks of hard work and walking the same place and driving the same place and they've wound up at the Philemon's Cutline Den. I don't believe it, Brian. <laughs> After all we tried to do, all that searching. Yes, I'm looking at you, girl. Your babies are beautiful, but you did lead us on rather a wild goose chase.